7. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us rejoice in the Lord. With the songs, let, let us praise, praise his name. Come bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us, let us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Lord. With, With songs, let, let us praise, praise him. Name. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his Son are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let, let us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Lord. With, With songs, songs, let us praise him. him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, a flock that is led by his hand. Let, let us, us rejoice in the Lord, with songs, the songs let, let us praise him. him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harry not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me to saw my work. Let, let us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord with songs that are praising. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said to the hearts of astray, These people do not know my ways. Then I took a note in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let, let us, us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord with songs, songs that are praising. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, <coughs> is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let, let us, us rejoice in the Lord, with songs, with songs let, let us praise him. In 967, O oh, the love of my Lord is the essence yes, of, all of all that I love here, here on earth. earth. All, the, all the beauty I see, he has, has given to me, and his giving is gentle as silence. Every day, every, day, every, every hour, every, every moment, I have been blessed by, by the strength of, of his love. The turn, the turn of each side is there, is there at my side, side and his touch is as gentle, gentle as silence. There have, there have been, been times when I turned turn from, his presence, from his presence, and I walked on a path other ways. But I called on his name in the dark, dark of my pain, and, and his mercy was is gentle as silence. When can I enter and see the face, face of, God? of God? Like a deer that yearns for running streams, so my, shirt, my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is testing for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul. How would you lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Keep us crawling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I'll sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Open God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When, when can I, I enter and see, and see the face of God? God? Oh, 
O us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Save us, God of all things. Strike all the nations with terror. Raise your hand against foreign nations, that they may see the greatness of your might. Our sufferings prove your holiness to them. Let their downfall prove your glory to us. Let them know as we ourselves know, that there is no other God but you. Give us signs again, work further wonders. Hold your hand, your right arm in glory. Assemble all the tribes of Jacob, as when they first received their inheritance. Pity the poor people called by your name. Pity Israel chosen as your firstborn. Have compassion on the holy city, Jerusalem, the place of your rest. Let Zion ring with your praises. Let your temple be filled with your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show, Show us, Lord, the light, the light of your mercy. mercy. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. heaven. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends to all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed are, you, are you, Lord, in the, in the vault of heaven. of heaven. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. When your words came, I devoured them. Your word was my delight, and the joy of my heart. For oh, I was called by your name, Lord God of Sabaoth. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Sing to him a new song. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Blessed be the Lord, for, for he has visited us and freed us. us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A Saviour would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. For his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembers. He sought Abraham our father to grant us, that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, for he has, he has visited, visited us and freed us. us. Christ has given us all a share in his priesthood. We offer our prayers and ourselves in union with him. Lord, accept our love and service. Jesus Christ, you are the eternal priest, 
Make this morning's offering acceptable to the Father. Lord, accept our love and service. Lord, you are love itself. Grant that we may love you. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us today the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Make us patient, kind, and gentle. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us the discernment to know the needs of our neighbors and give us the courage to love them as brothers. Lord, accept our love and service. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty Lord and God, protect us by your power through the course of this day, even as you have enabled us to begin it. Do not let us turn aside to any sin, but let our every thought, word and deed aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal Father, Father, we thank, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the, for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give, we give thanks, thanks to those priests who have brought, have brought us the word, word of truth, the grace, the grace of the sacraments, and, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the, called the apostles to follow him, we ask, we ask you to raise up new and generous occasions to the priesthood in our time. Send, Send forth the Holy Spirit, Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid but to recognize the joy and given their whole lives and love through Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of all the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as your creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. At the beginning of the reign of Zebediah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azul, a Galileanite, spoke as follows to Jeremiah in the temple of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and of all the people. The Lord, the God of Israel, says this, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. In two years' time, I will bring back all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, carried off from this place and took to Babylon. And I will also bring back Jeremiah, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who have gone to Babylon. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, I am going to break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah then replied to the prophet Hananiah in front of the priests and all the people there in the temple of the Lord. I hope so, the prophet Jeremiah said. May the Lord do so. May he fulfill the words that you have prophesied and bring the vessels of the temple of the Lord and all the exiles back to this place from Babylon. Listen carefully, however, to this word I am now going to say for you and all the people to hear. From remote times, the prophets and who preceded you and me prophesied war, famine and plague for many countries and for many kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace can only be recognized as one truly sent by the Lord when his word comes true. The prophet Hananiah then took the yoke off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it. In front of all the people, Hananiah then said, the Lord says this, this is how two years hence I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and take it off the necks of all the nations. At this, the prophet Jeremiah went away. After the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke, which he had taken off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord was addressed to Jeremiah. Go to Hananiah and tell him this. The Lord says this, you can break wooden yokes, right? I will make them iron yokes instead. For the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel says this, an iron yoke is what I now lay on the necks of all these nations to subject them to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. They will be subject to him 
I have even given him the wild animals. The prophet Jeremiah said to the prophet Hananiah, listen carefully, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you. And thanks to you, this people are now relying on what is false. Hence, the Lord says this, I am going to throw you off the face of the earth. You are going to die this year since you have preached apostrophe from the Lord. The prophet Hananiah died the same year in the seventh month. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Keep me from the way of error and teach me your law. Do not take the word of truth from my mouth, for I trust in your decrees. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Let your faithful turn to me, those who know your will. Let my heart be blameless in your statute, lest I am ashamed. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. Though the wicked lie in wait to destroy me, yet I ponder on your will. I have not turned away from your decrees. You yourself have taught me. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the people heard of this and leaving the towns went after him on foot. So he stepped ashore and saw a large crowd and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the time has slipped by. So send the people away, and they can go to their villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, All we have with us is five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me, he said. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said a blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to the disciples who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted and they collected the scraps remaining, 12 baskets full. Those who ate numbered about 5,000 men to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. The feeding of the multitude anticipates the Last Supper, where Jesus will break bread and institute the Eucharist. God sent Jesus to save us body, soul, and spirit, but also to feed and nourish us. God did not just save our souls or our bodies or just the spirit. He saved the whole human person. The body and blood of Christ feeds us, strengthens us, and brings vitality and life to our whole being. We can feel empty inside, carry a sense of loneliness or lack of meaning and direction. The Eucharist nourishes us and satisfies the deepest desires of the human heart. Let us pray. Lord, grant us the gift of awe, wonder and amazement at this gift of yourself by which we are nourished and giving strength to live the Christian life. Lord, hear us. 
We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph as spouse, but with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, and make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.